Felters and welcome. How are you all? I hope you've had a really good month or two months by the time you see this. Um, I, so I kind of took some of January off and um, I did do a little update. So I did update you that um, I'm talking about uh, refurbishing this room. So I've got some colour samples on the wall, waiting for the wallpaper to come uh, for that wall. And then hopefully in this blog, you're going to see this room be done. So that'd be really exciting. I am at present filming an online hair course in which I'm going to do two hairs. So this one's going to be a snow hair. This one is going to be a sort of normal coloured hair, but with a pelt. So this is going to have planted fur. This is going to have a flat sort of body. Um, I have uh, based it on this guy, not on, because this one was planted and it, do you remember it took me forever, absolutely ages. Um, and it's, he's going to be not quite half the size, but a lot smaller because this guy took so long to do. Um, but one of them's going to have sort of this colour coat and then the other one's going to be the snow hair. So I really like him. He's really sweet. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a good course. And because it's got two designs in it, so it'll be better value for money and obviously I'll do a discount. So fingers crossed that course will be done before the end of this video as well. Um, just little things I did. Uh, one of these is a little sheep sort of head in a portrait and this is a video on my patron my patron is full I get so many people ask why it's full and it's just that I don't like to have too many people in it we've got uh, just over 100 ladies and it's quite hard to get to know everybody when it gets too full so every now and again a space does come up so someone will leave at the end of a month so if you want to get in you just have a look but yeah this was a tutorial I did for my patrons but it's really simple really easy um, quite effective but it's a nice big frame as well she's still going let me just check the dogs are always on guard <laughs> for me um, another thing that was suggested to me by a lady who, who um, I talked to on Instagram I think it's Chloe but I'm gonna link her she did I think she put this in a in her blog um, but I'll link her Instagram because it was a brilliant idea. So these are shoe boxes and um, that's sort of a, a softer plastic but when you put the two ends on it becomes really rigid and it's so good. You've got a little door, there's ventilation in here for your will and you can fit so much in there. 12 of these were £29 I think and that is fantastic and they interlock together so you could literally have it sort of just on the floor interlocked all together. But I think these are really good, in particular for me or anyone with pets, is because anything on the lower shelves my dog can get to, or my dog, one in particular, Gracie, she likes getting to my world. So this is great, this is going to stop her, and they were a really good price. So thank you so much for that suggestion, and um, I will link them, I will link her blog down below, and I will link these in my Amazon shop, because these are excellent. And I might, I've got 12 already, so I might get some more. Ah, uh, yes. Another thing was I put up a sales tracker just because I know you can go onto Etsy and you can look at your sales, but I've put a sales tracker up so I can really visually see um, how what I'm selling the most of, how things are going. And January, which was it's finished yesterday, uh, 99 sales. I do include the digital sales, so that's why it's so much. But it's just lovely to see it all. Quite a few kits. The sheep kit is proving to be the most popular. This one keeps selling out. I've ordered more stuff for it. This is the last one I've got at the moment. But yeah, this one is is proving to be more popular than the Highland Cow. I am also going to do a hair kit next, straight after finishing this online course. Um, and it's gonna have two styles of hair, hair in it, but a much simpler design than this um, and smaller. But I think hairs, they're very popular. So I think hopefully, fingers crossed, that one will go well. I have applied to Yarndale. Um, it was 180 to get in last year um, for the smallest plot. However, this year they've changed it that if you are new to Yarndale and you've never been before as an exhibitor, it's a special price of £100. So that's really good. So if anyone else is thinking about it, um, I can't remember when the closing date is. But I'll find out in March whether I've got in. You have to send them pictures of your products and links to all your sort of social media, your websites. And hopefully the pictures of my um, craft display at Yummy Yorkshire will be okay. Because they sort of, 
they don't accept everybody they but I sort of think well there were quite a few empty stands there last year so you know fingers crossed my display is good enough and I will go there mainly to sell probably kits so I will have three kits maybe I want to develop another two so I'm fingers crossed I might have five kits by September I don't know for sure but that's what I would like and a couple of other bits and bobs that I want to develop over the next few months so let's get on with that I watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving I ordered these wools from a lady online, so <clears throat> on Facebook, so let's just see. Oh, that's nice. See what we're looking at. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, just what I wanted. Look at these. So I've got some nice sky and sea colours. Yeah, I really like that. Um, I think it's alpaca, um, but look at that blend. Perfect. I think just buying things blended up makes life so much easier for 2D pictures. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, that's really nice. So they were good, but this is just, you know, look on Facebook, keep your eyes peeled for things. Yeah, really pleased with that. They were, I think, with postage and packaging, about 20 odd pounds. So, yeah, pleased with them. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground Hi, so it's the 13th and I've got a nice cup of tea. My daughter's made some cakes. Lots of icing on it. Really nice. Um, and sorry about the way I look, but just done dog walking. It's such a lovely sunny day. It's so nice at the moment. So the um, 50k giveaway, I had over 300 entries. I had so many and I was really struggling to work out how to put them in a random picker. And then I found this um, random picker thing that would do it automatically from the video. It would take the comments. So I had to delete some of the comments that were outside of the time frame of the two days. So I'm so sorry if your uh, question got deleted. Um, and then I put it in there and then I, I picked it. And so I videoed that yesterday and I videoed the winner being picked. So it showed, you know, how I did it all. And I was kind of sitting there thinking, well, what if I put it out and then people contact me that are not the actual winner's name? Because how am I going to know? So I emailed the lady this morning and then she just messaged me back. So the video hasn't gone live yet, but I was able to tell her that she won. And I know it's her because I replied to her comment on YouTube and no one else is going to reply through that, I don't think. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine. Um, so, yeah, I've just told her she won. So that's really, really good. So I'm really happy about that. And she's going to have some courses and PDFs off me. So that's great. So I've uh, finished the first hair, which um, I showed on the other video. And I think I'm happy with him. I'm working on the next one for the video. So it looks so much smaller than that one, but it looks um, good once it's all done. But it's just I'm uploading. And for those of you that follow me, you know the issue I have with um, uploading things. Your upload speed is a whole lot slower than your download speed. The download speed is what you get tested for all the time, you know, when you have an internet provider. But the upload is really, really slow. But I think I've sussed it. So I'm sitting here doing 
voiceovers for all the so I've edited all the videos for that hair the white snow hair and then I'm voiceovering it all and then I'm uploading it all and it's all just and then I save it all and so it's just that's all I'm doing and someone said oh do you spend more time editing or felting well at the moment I spend more time editing it's just non-stop <laughs> I just wanted to open this with you guys because I think it's my new uh, wool buddy mats which I have been waiting for for ages. I'm so excited about them. You guys know I use wool buddy all the time. That mat I've had for oh, two years and it's been so absolutely fantastic. And I messaged them and said, look, I definitely, I'm going to get a new one. Is it something you'd think of gifting me? And you know, I promote it all the time on my oh, look, oh, brand new. Yes, yeah, so I promote, I you know, I talk about it all the time. Look at that! Oh, I love it. God, they're so do they just have a lovely feel about them? They're the perfect shape, this squareness. So, that's going to be my new mat, and then. I said if there's any kits you want me to look at. Oh look! Oh good, so I can review this. That's really good. Yep, yeah, so I'm going to review that for them as well. Ooh, I just did um, a live on Instagram. <laughs> so, Jeez, I'm not very good at these things, but you have to push yourself to do it. I had lots to talk about because I had all, so many questions as well that I hadn't answered from my 50k giveaway. So I thought that was quite a good opportunity to do some of the Instagram questions. But yeah, it's quite nerve wracking. Sorry about this. Still there. I'm waiting for the wallpaper. I thought I had ordered the wallpaper, but it was in the basket and I hadn't actually paid for it. Useless. Um, I ordered... Um, a name badge for Yondale. A little bit early and it's going to be backwards but it says Philippa self-confessed needle felting addict so I thought that was quite sweet so I'll wear that. Um, I've asked my sister to come and help me now she lives in Cornwall which is a bit of a long way away but she'll come up here for a couple of days before and a couple of days after so hopefully you have a bit of a holiday but I might get her one saying Melanie family so I've been forced to do this or something like that <laughs> not here voluntarily most of the hair course is videoed and edited so I did have a bit of a wobble over this one she you know just didn't look you know how you think oh I'm not sure I wasn't sure and we spent ages going over and over about whether she looked all right and looking at other hairs and I made this cheek a little bit bigger. Making that cheek bigger has really helped, I think. And I love her ears. I love all of her, her pose. I was just still a teeny bit unhappy with the face. But then sometimes I'm really overcritical because she's not supposed to be the ultimate in realism. I want people to do this course that maybe have only felt it a bit and can take it on and try because it's really simple armature so I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea after doing that Instagram live it's very nerve-wracking but I did it push myself and I saw um, Helen Winter textile art do one this morning on felting so I thought nope let's push myself let's do it so I did right uh, gonna have a cup of tea <laughs> so here we are Henry and Harriet <laughs> we are still underway it's the 23rd and I'm going to launch them tomorrow just to show you a few things so these are the colours on the wall uh, that I've been thinking about the um, wallpaper has arrived and I'm really I am actually really really happy with it so this is the sample I wanted to see if it would work this is this is still a green in the background but it looks a bit bluey in some of the lights but it's going to go with 
uh, one of these greens. I think it's that one. Personally, we've had a good look. Now I was going to pop it on that wall there, get rid of the map, and then this would all, look at the mess, it's such a mess. Um, and then sort it all out. But actually, because I thought if I had it on that wall, it would be too much. But um, I think I really want to make it a feature wall and I want it to be seen in videos. I want people to see it, but it is really sweet. It's just, it's just encaptures all the little creatures that, you know, I would like to make and needle felting and stuff like that. This mat has arrived. I get this is the mat for, y <laughs> for Yarndale. So if I have a stand at Yarndale, I'm going to put a mat down for people to walk on and it ties in quite nicely um, with my colours. So I'm already sort of starting to plan that. I really hope I get in. So I've just rested you on my mat. Just have a quick chat. Um, so Harriet here. L yeah, this just to give you an idea if anyone was thinking of doing courses themselves. So I have filmed all of the courses I've up all of the parts of the courses and I've uploaded them there was 37 separate videos that I had to voice over and upload so that took ages but even once you've done that this is what I um, have practically done now but this is what I had to do the thank you video the intro video the materials video the materials list the video for YouTube the video for Instagram I have to put it on my website plus a mini video for that Photos for Thin Thinkific, add it to Linktree, which is on Instagram, organise the discount for the weekend so that, um, so basically before I used to do a discount where people would have a code, but occasionally there'd be three or four people that the code wouldn't work for, so I'd have to do refunds. So I'm going to do Harriet Hair course actually fully discounted. At, so it's going to be 25 normally because it's two hairs for the price of one. So it's going to be £20 for the first 48 hours to make it just simple and then my patrons get another 25% off that so they can use their 25% code which has worked fine in the past so it should be okay and then put it on patreon so those are all the extra things and you think right so I'm going to launch tomorrow I've got my friend coming round at three I've told her 3 30 and I want to launch it at five and have it all automated and sort of ready to go I think I think I can do it I'm not sure Maybe I'll just launch it at three and then she comes at 3.30 for a cup of tea. And then I just deal with any issues over the weekend if anyone has any problems. Oh, and yeah. Oh, anyway, so I'm getting there. So the other exciting news is um, I've ordered a heat press. I, I, a heat press is one of those large machines that you can press on T-shirts, jumpers. And basically I want it to do tote bags for Yarndale. I've got some tote bags down here. So I've ordered a few. These really aren't the best quality. This was the first batch, but basically I know that the first batch is going to go horrendously wrong and that they need to be ironed and everything. But I want to be able to put um, a few little bits and bobs on tote bags and I want them sort of at one side at Yarndale just as an extra thing for people to buy. So this heat press is a real investment. It can uh, press on other things such as mugs and mouse mats and wouldn't it be lovely to have a mouse mat that said I'd rather be felting <laughs> so, but anyway yeah there's lots that I can do with it but really I only want it for tote bags and hopefully I've got a good one it's got a swing away um, top bit because it gets really really hot um, but yeah it's going to be trial and error to get it working and to get it going so we'll see how that goes that's going to arrive in Oh, not for another week and a half, I think. So it'll probably be in next month's. But it's exciting. It's moving the business forwards in little ways. Um, typically, just as we were launching the course, I had a sick puppy. That's Gracie on the left, wrapped up in the blanket. The culprit for eating my wool, but she, it wasn't because of the wool. But she was really ill. She had a really bad tummy, and Safi's just keeping her company. It lasted about two days. So I was really close to taking her to the vet. She didn't have a temperature or anything, so she's luckily all recovered. Um, this is just out on one of our walks. This is one of the cats just having fun in the fields. 
These guys have got some massive pigs and look at them, they have completely turned the field over, which is their job and that's what they're supposed to do. But if you got quite close to these pigs, they're huge. And then this is um, a chap down in the valley. These are racing pigeons and every time we go for a walk, they're always out flying. They're from the house just there on the end. And they're always flying and flying around the valley. It's lovely to see. They seem to be out quite a bit, which is nice as well. But yeah, really interesting. It's the day after launch day of the course. And I'm really tired because <laughs> it has blown me away. Um, it has done better than any course I've produced. I have sold 59 um, hair courses. I can't, just cannot get over it. Um, and we're just about to hit the 24 hours mark. First off, thank you. If any of you watching purchased the course, I mean, my goodness, I didn't expect, I knew a hair might be popular. I knew that putting two together might be even more appealing because people might think, oh, I want to learn about long hair and then I want to do the normal hair as well. So really amazed about that. Just, and then it does, um, it, lots of people sort of message me with questions and things. Only one person had trouble with the discount code because that well, that was on Patreon though. So um, that was quite nice that I just put it on at the discounted price. So I didn't have to deal with if the discount code went wrong because that's not very nice for people when the discount code doesn't work. And it makes me feel bad as well because it's sort of, it's like my system's not working. And sometimes it might be cookies on your lap. My laptop used to be really funny on certain websites before it went and got all redone. But anyway, really good. And now, so I'm really happy and amazed and what have you. But then I, I sit there and go, oh my God, I hope everyone's all right with the course and that they're happy with it. Um, but fingers crossed, it, it's okay. So I've got a Zoom call in a minute with my Patreons. And I think I'm going to start just felting um, a Herdwick to replace my Herdwick that I sold. Because I've been thinking about that Herdwick a while and I just want something casual and just easy to do whilst I'm on my Zoom felt along with my Patreons. So. Well, it's the 3rd, 3rd of March, so I am going to get this vlog out tonight for you all. Here's the Herdwick that I have started. Uh, proportions do look a little bit strange right now, but trust the process. I've measured everything correctly. The head needs to be a bit bigger, but I'm underway with him, so I'm going to crack on with him over the next few days. I forgot to mention, I bought... This is the mini Highland Cow Kit from Stab the Fuff, Fluff M Fountain. So she's got some lovely tutorials. I think she's just updated her website. But basically I um, purchased, this is the large one. I don't have a, a picture, but look at, there's a lot of wool in there. So that's fantastic. So it's the large version of the Highland Cow, but it's very, very cute. Um, she had a slight delay on it because she had toothache, bless her. And so she said she sent me this one for free. So that was really, really kind of her. She didn't need to at all. But I'm going to be doing that Highland Cow next month because I really enjoy trying to learn other ways of doing things that, you know, that I do and that I get sort of um, stuck in a rut almost doing my Highland Cows exactly the same way every single time. So it's really good to push yourself and learn how different people do different things. And it's nice to support another uh, needle felting 
uh, company so that's really really good and looking forward to that also I've got the craft fair April the 9th so I'm going to be doing lots of smaller makes as well next month I'm going to defer my hair kit till the month after I've got to be fairly reasonable about these things I'd really love to develop for the craft fair a really simple sheep you know with easy legs and easy ears and things like that so I think I've got a few ideas so that's next month and um, I find out in April for um, Yarndale so not yet and also I don't get to put things in for Holmfirth Art Week until the 1st of April so that it'll all be happening in April but anyway so we've got a good month ahead of us for next month but I do I did just want to say I really appreciate that this uh, vlog has had a lot of me talking and not much felting so I sort of threw in a few extra little bits of around the countryside because the problem was I wasn't doing much felting um, I was doing an awful lot of uh, video work and editing and stuff so it's really boring for you but it is it is a vlog about my business so I, you know really apologize if that side of it was a little bit boring but next month we should be doing a lot more felting so um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for being here as always um, and for all your support and for getting me over the 50,000 subscribers do subscribe if you want to join the club with everyone else um, but thanks for being here I hope you have a really good month and happy felting and we'll see you next month take care everybody bye Bye.